Hello everyone watching the replay. This is Cody, my dog. And you're watching a Periscope replay starring Cody the dog and Bob Doyle. So the scope is called Today I'm Going to Talk Like This. And so for this entire scope, I'm going to be talking like this. Oh, I'll talk about normal things. Oh yes, as if there's nothing unusual about how I'm talking. But I am going to talk like this the whole time. And I have to get my readers because I can't see who's in the room. Hello, Melanie, and hello, Jennifer Myers. Great Scott, 319 is here. And of course, Lucian is here and has shared. And Juicy Fine Lady is in Nigeria and it is 3 a.m. there. Wow, how does that happen? You know, Ty, that is one possible way to interpret the way I'm talking on this scope only. So you have a valid comment. Okay, Tex San, An San Antone. Texas Sa Tex San Antone is joined for the scope where I'm going to talk like this. And now Lynn Rose is talking to me from the other room and I can't understand a word she's saying because I'm busy talking like this. Hello, Tex San Antone. What's up is I'm going to be talking just like this for this entire Periscope. That's right. Hello, Bull Tristan. Uh, I Something about a Gucci mane, I don't understand. And Jennifer has shared on Facebook, which means that even more people are going to be coming in here and listening to me talking like this, completely unnaturally, completely as if I, I don't know. But this is how I'm going to talk for this entire thing. So talk, is it, you make a very fine point, Juicy Fine Lady, because I can't just talk about talking like this, can I? All right. Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful Friday and has a terrific weekend planned. What are you up to? Who's got a plan that they can state in five to ten words in a comment that sounds fun? Thank you, Tech San Anton. Let's learn a little bit about tech, shall we, so I can stop saying that name. No, I can't, because you see, that's all the information we have about Tex San Anton, but I'm hoping that I'm saying this correct. Oh, hold on. Correctly is what, what I should have said. Ladies you and gentlemen. You were broadcasted out. So we weren't going to do a fun with Bob and Lynn. I know. And now you're broadcast. I know. And you know why, what? ladies and gentlemen? Oh my gosh. You she, guys are hearing this. She feels I'm serious. You know, I actually going to the art museum. One. Great. Oh my God. You know, she has a really good point. She I did. We that. did talk about doing a broadcast, but what she doesn't understand is the following. I got a whim. I, on a whim, I decided to do this, and I didn't think it was going to work. And so, therefore, I didn't expect 28 people in the room. So, and I also uh, changed my mind on that, clearly. Just ate Greek food, did you? Well, that sounds extraordinary. What kind of Greek food? You know, I'm feeling a little like I should get Lynn Rose in here and we should do the show. What do you think? M may as well be. Fine, juicy lady. We call ourselves spousal equivalents, and you just witnessed a little bit of that. <laughs> I don't talk politics on this show, Bull Tristan. And you know, I don't actually talk politics off this show either. Thank you, Jukebox60, for the applause. I'm not quite sure what you're applauding for, but I gotta tell you, it feels really great. Hello, Hisp, all, Hisp, all. Um, Hello, thanks for being here. And the multimillionaire has joined the room. The man, hey man, are his comments. You're joining me on a scope where I'm talking just like this for the entire scope. You actually even saw me get chastised by the wonderful, talented Lynn Rose. Here she comes back. Maybe I stand a chance of redeeming myself. I'm not sure. I saw some Greek ingredients there. Uh, so really? awkward. I appreciate that. You stand so a chance at Redemption. I well, I can only hope. I can now. only hope. Really? Hello, I am Pinky Lopez, and thank you really? for inviting we followers. Been doing fun with Bob come, would you just come in here and do the show with me right now? But you have to talk like this. That's the only thing. And now she is capable, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes, if any woman on this planet. Hello, Ryan Daily ninety seven. It is nice of you to not only pop in and check out the cast where I am talking only like this, but to say hello as well. And over here, Bob. Oh wait, I. Well, it got past me. I do know that I can go back. So let's find out who said, over here, Bob, it is Alinity Star. Why don't we check uh, out Alinity Star together, shall we? Oh, I'm so sorry, but Alinity. 
has provided no user description. The weather here is wonderful. I'd say we've got about a uh, 68 degrees, uh, 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 mostly cloudy right now. Very unusual for our area, and yet we are experiencing it. We thought, you see, we were going to do a a sunset. You see, the reason Lynn's upset is because we've got this, we thought we had this amazing sunset brewing, and we thought we'd do a show. Well, I saw, I told her at that time, I'm really not up to a show because I've already done a Periscope this morning that was very emotionally draining if you watch the replay. And then I did, of course, the Bob Doyle show, the actual Bob Doyle show. You should check it out. I think it was just, it was a show. Well, you know, Jen, if there are still newscasters talking like this, they need to be fired. There is no topic yet. I haven't really gotten to it. Uh, I, the topic has just been me talking like this. Is pizza being delivered tonight also? Dad's for life? No, I'm afraid not. I just grilled some extraordinary apple sausage, chicken apple sausage, and I ate it, you see, in a bun with cheese, and it was extraordinary. And so, therefore, I will not be ordering pizza tonight. Thank you, Jen Hollywood. That is so kind of you to say. What's the secret, you ask? Probably checking out the old profile, wondering what the secret is. Well, you see, that was a movie. Still is, actually. Didn't ever stop being a movie. <laughs> That's impossible. And it's also a book, you see. And it's about the law of attraction. And I was one of the featured teachers in that film. You can't breathe. Well, that doesn't sound good. You should probably call nine, and then a one, and then one more. That will alert the, the emergency personnel to your situation, and hopefully someone will be right over to help you restore your breathing ability. Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> Nine Juan Juan. I don't know why that's funny, but it is. Alrighty. Oh, so tiny. See, I didn't understand what that was until I said it out loud. Oh, so tiny. It says tiny. And she... I-G, oh, so tiny, go lurk. I guess she's lurking. I guess we are the lurkies. She's lurker. We are lurkies. Well, it's darn fine to have you here. And I, if I'm going to be lurked by someone, I'd want it to be someone just like you. Okay, someone is asking a favor, but I missed it. Okay, someone's yelling at me now. Raquel's yelling. My ears are bleeding here, Raquel. There's really no need for that. Oh, you just wanted to hear me say it. I see. Well, that sounds fair because... Why else? Yes, I can do you a favor. Uh, I guess you're no, no. It's quite all right. I was only joking. <laughs> There's no need to apologize. Seriously, still stuck on nine Juan Juan. Yes, me too. All right, wait. Can I please say gallop, 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 gallop? This is Bob Doyle, and I'd just like to say gallop. Any more than? Gallop. 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 You know, I think that's going to be my new nickname. I'm going to walk into a room and, into a room and they're going to say, Hey, check out who's here. It's old Gallop. Yeah. Love Gallop. And I'll say, Hi, guys. Thanks for remembering my nickname. And then we'll just have a darn fine time. Can I say Nathan Rothschild? Can I say Nathan Rothschild? Oh, I think, I think I just did twice. So the answer to your question, sir, is yes. A definitive, absolutely yes. And thank you. I, I like to look trustworthy. It is, of course, uh, what the look I'm going for. And you, sir, are G. Adam Blocker. G. Adam Blocker. That's an interesting name to have on Periscope, you know. What's my wife up to? Well... Lynn Rose is in the other room, and I, she may be plotting um, something against me because she feels betrayed, and I wish that she would just come back here and do the show with me. should read some lyrics. Well, if I had some rap lyrics in front of me, but that is kind of a funny idea. Take this ridiculous voice and read rap lyrics. I think we may be on to something. The problem with that plan, though, is that I do not. Oh, Lynn. <laughs> okay. The problem with that plan is that, number one, I forgot what we were talking about because Lynn got in my head. Oh, yes, right. Talk like this over rap lyrics. 
Search the lyrics for With That by Young Thug. Hmm. Doesn't matter how la- Oh, see, I needed this laugh. To Coco. Kiss a nation. Yes, Ryan. Kiss on a- Kiss- Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying, welcome to The Scope, where I'm only talking like this, with my guest, Dad for Life, Jukebox 60, and- Lynn Rose, the awesome Lynn Rose, as reviewed by Jukebox 60. Summer 16 by Drake. Well, these are all fine choices, but I am not in a position where I can search for these and pull them up at this time. I will have to schedule still another broadcast where we read the rap lyrics, but I do, I do, I do like the idea. These specs, since you asked, are darn comfortable. They're darn comfortable. I can wear them for extended periods. And the longer I wear them, the more irritated Lynn Rose gets. Not a must, I, you know, I having trouble reading the comments. Ernst P. Whirl. I don't understand that, Patty Cake. So I'm going to read your profile. Patty Cake, you, you still haven't provided a user description. How are we supposed to talk like this about you with no user or profile description? It's impossible, is what it is. I can do a lot of things, but I cannot do that level of impossible. Oh, sure, I could spit all over my phone. And sure, I could... I'm in love with the cocoa. You know, it's so true that I do love cocoa. We have several types of chocolate in the freezer right now because of my love for cocoa. Now, I know that's not what you were talking about at all, and you Probably, oh, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Now, see, Georgia Blocker, this would be the time for you to do your thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see I'm having trouble with uh, my, my, uh, yeah. Okay, I just see I'm not, I'm not fast on the draw, ladies and gentlemen, with, with, with block action. Just not that good at it. But I, you know, I got to get back into the practice of it. Okay, you know, I don't know that I can continue talking just like this anymore. Because, you know, it's a little tiring. And I really had nothing to talk about at all. And I thought this would only last just a couple of minutes. And um, instead, it went for a little longer. I'm now in trouble with the missus. <laughs> oh, dear. And, uh, okay, I guess those are rap lyrics you're giving me with the Coco thing. Uh, yes. Trolls. God bless them. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying the opposite of that, actually. <laughs> if you're going to read my mind. Okay, yeah, I'm sleeping on the couch tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and you saw it. I'm going to watch the replay so I can bask in my own remorse. And, uh, and that's going to be the way that works. Uh, in the meantime, I've got a little blocking to do. All right. You all have a wonderful time doing whatever it is you're doing, not talking like this. I'm going to go mosey on down the hall and see if I can talk my way out of this. <laughs> uh.